So today's question is, is it racist for the politicians of Philadelphia to ban face masks? Let me ask again, is it is it racist for the politicians of Philadelphia to ban the wearing of masks? Ski mask. I want to give my opinion from somebody who lives in New York City, from somebody who's a black man, from somebody, so-called black man, right? Uh, also somebody who lives in the hood and has seen the foolishness of people wearing that bullshit in the hood, okay? I want to give my opinion real quick. My opinion is just my opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. So, over the last couple years, I've seen I've seen the face mask stuff come come become popular. I guess it's the pandemic, right? Depending upon where you live at, where you're from. Like for example, there's certain spots out in Brooklyn before the pandemic where you would come out the train station and dudes would be black bandit, blue bandit, red bandanas across a face catch anybody slipping and they're gonna rob your ass dead ass like honestly certain parts in brooklyn it was just like that you come off the train station and you might get robbed um now aside from that of course i don't see many people wearing bandanas no more like that but yes all these little nigglets are wearing face masks so the question becomes is it right uh for them to you know ban these face masks that uh, mostly are being worn not to keep their, themselves warm. Is it, you know, they're they're being worn to hide their identity, and it does give off a a very distinct impression of engaging in criminality. Facts. When I see these young men, these young black men, wearing these these ski masks. And they in behind me, they walk in in front of, or, or whatever. I'm on alert. Because you look like a criminal. You look like you're up to no good and you're going to do something. And the honest truth is, nine times out of ten, y'all little nigglets that wear those masks are up to trouble. Y'all are up to some shit. I remember seeing dudes wearing all black with hoodies and ski masks in the freaking summer. Everybody has shorts on, short sleeves. These nigglets would have a full Nike gear, hoodie, tracksuit, all black with a face mask on. Like you look you look like you're up to no good, bro. You look like you're up to no good. And the fact, the fact that these low-level thinking people that's what they are and that, honestly that's what the average black person is becoming in my opinion because when you're so quick to call everything racist oh we're committing all this crime in these cities it's racist nah i am more concerned with other people that look like me wearing those face masks than a white man wearing a face i don't see any white men wearing face masks Hey, of course, we know why people do their shit in a whole different manner. <laughs> Court system and all that stuff. But again, I don't I don't have those concerns of, yo, maybe this white person is going to try to do me harm. That's why they're wearing this mask. I don't get those impressions. But from a black man, especially these young black men wearing face masks, yes, I get that impression. So do I believe it's racist? Hell no. Ban face mask, those face masks in every damn city. And get the AI started. So that they could do facial recognition through the mask. Get cameras on every, and I, I hate to, you know, I am, I am one for privacy. I'm not the one for surveillance, especially as a black man. Cause they recorded me without, you know, I know even if I'm out here in Mott Haven, the looks from the Spanish people that I got today. Not that I give a fuck anyway. So who the fuck are you niggas? <laughs> Nobody. Anyway, but it's it's you know it's this whole 
we have to be careful how we present ourselves. I'm in a suit and motherfuckers will still give me looks like I'm up to something. And I'll still tell them to go suck their balls or they suck their mother, <laughs> no matter what they think. Because I don't give a fuck what you think. Especially when I'm looking for homeowners and I know half these niggas is fucking renters and there's nothing wrong with being a renter. But you're not gonna fucking sit here and look at me like what are you up to and all this, all this stuff when you don't own shit anyway. Take your ass to your apartment. Anyway, regarding this face mask shit, ban all that shit. Get the surveillance up, get AI up. These little nigglets are destroying the inner cities. You got the migrants coming over too and they're effing things up as well. I can't wait until they get this surveillance shit popping off OD so that you can't commit no crime. Because I know that's gonna make cities safer. I know that's gonna make property values go higher in these areas, which of course is gonna have a, a, a negative effect on our people as well. We gotta, we gotta work through it. But we cannot allow this crime that continue, continues to take place. We cannot allow these continued carjackings in Baltimore, in Chicago, you got postal service, postal service workers getting ran down on by little niggas in masks, man, with eight Ks. Niggas can't. Eat, our people, we can't even carry weapons to defend ourselves. I mean, like it's, it's just so crazy to me. It, it is wild to me, but it is what it is. I can't sweat it. It's not racist. And everybody that's, that they uh, make it illegal. And anybody you see wearing that mask, throw their asses in jail. Or give them a ticket or something to where they'll never want to wear those masks no more. Something's got to be done about the youth. Something's got to be done about these individuals wilding out here. Straight up. So, I appreciate y'all watching. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Thanks for, thanks for being here. I'll catch y'all later.